unit 2 basic algebra in this first we are going to see the introduction of real number system real number system this basic I have teach you and unit 1 itself you know the natural numbers nothing but n 1 2 3 goes on up to infinity is the natural numbers n next if we are going to see the whole numbers w 0 1 goes on up to infinity this natural numbers and whole numbers as difference nothing but only one single element nothing but 0 the natural numbers and whole numbers differentiate is nothing but only a single element called 0 next integers the integers chance for z is equal to minus infinity goes on minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 goes on up to plus infinity goes up to plus infinity this is called integers next after integers i can speak about uh, rational numbers rational numbers this rational numbers i can indicate as q rational numbers i can indicate as q the q is in the form of p by q p by q where q is not equal to 0 where q is not equal to 0 and not only this p comma q belongs to z p comma q belongs to z this is the main thing rational number is nothing but what is the rational number p by q form rational number is nothing but p by q form are called rational numbers where mainly what denominator q is not equal to 0 this p and q belongs to z p and q belongs to z this is the main thing p and q belongs to z for example i going to give some examples for rational numbers nothing but minus 7 by 3 this is nothing but p by q form this 7 belongs to z and 3 belongs to z so p by q form minus 7 by 3 is a rational numbers this is called negative integer this is called positive integers i have commonly written z that one nothing but integers next if i going to take 2 2 is belongs to q yes if i twist this 2 can, I can be written as 2 by 1 2 by 1 belongs to q this is nothing but p this is nothing but q but see here uh, 4 if i going to take 8 by uh, other is 8 by 4 also don't need if i going to take 16 by 4 or 16 by uh, 16 by 4 i am going to take 16 by 4 whether 16 by 4 is a rational number no 16 by 4 is a not a rational number because this 16 by 4 can be written as how i am going to return 4 into 4 into 4 into 1 into 4 this is common factor called 4 4 this 16 and 4 as common factor as known as 4 common factor as known as 4 the another best example if i going to teach is nothing but 36 by 24 very very easiest example it has many common factors but i am going to take um, one of the common factors nothing but 18 into 2 18 into 2 and nothing but 12 into 2 this is not a 36 by 24 is not a rational number because it has a common factor 2 the next if i going to write 18 by 12 18 by 12 you can write as 6 in 2 otherwise uh, 6 uh, you, can, you can take as 3 3 into 6 3 6 are 18 2 into 6 see 6 as a common factor so, so 18 by 12 is not the ration number but 3 by 2 is a ration number why 3 by 2 is a ration number because 3 by 2 as a common factor called 1 that's all the numbers which have common factor 1 the numbers which have common factor 1 numerator should be a 1 and denominator should be a the common factor should be 1 if the integers have in common factors 1 then we can say it is a ration number so for example 5 where 5 is a, what is 5 is a ration yes 5 is a ration see i can put 1 p by q form i can put 1 into 5 into 1 is 5 1 into 1 is the same number so the common factor is 1 so p 5 by 1 is a ration number I can take 22 by 7 is a ration number the common factor is 1 the numbers which have common factor 1 is called ration numbers and should be indicated by p by q this is the main thing the ration numbers should have common factor as 1 common factor as 1 so this is called ration numbers so q can be integrated as ration numbers q dash is nothing but irrational number q dash nothing but irrational number what is irrational number the numbers for example the numbers 22 by 7 is a irrational number Sorry, not 20 by 20 by 7 is a ration number. 22 by 7 is a ration number. So I am going to teach you what is a ration number. Simply, the ration number is nothing but 
the numbers which is not terminating and not uh, uh, not recurring not recurring recurring is repetition for example for example how are you going to do for example i will take 22 by 7 sir for example 22 by 7 how many times 3 7s are 21 3 7s are 21 2 minus 1 is 1 i can place a point here so i can place 0 here 17 is 7 remain as 3 as i placed point i can put 0 4 7s are 28 After twenty eight, I place two. I can put zero. How many times? Two seven are fourteen. After two seven are fourteen, I can place six. So I can place zero. Eight seven are fifty six. Eight seven five. One second four zero. Seven five are thirty five. After thirty five, I can get five zero. Seven seven are forty nine. Still, it's not it going on. We'll see. Wait, wait. One. So as I place, I can point zero here. After place, one seven is seven. Remainder three. I can play seven four are twenty eight. See here. After one four two eight five and seven, once again one four starts. One four two eight five seven four. So four twenty two by seven is a rational number. Twenty two by seven is an rational number because we're going to three point one four two eight five seven. Once a two four eight seven. Once again the same repetition. So this we can write as one four two eight five seven bar. This call this bar you are studying ninth and also. If it is called this is called. non terminating and recurring recurring means coming once again once again the same platform coming the same once again once again the same circle as same period is periodic as coming so this is not the rational this is not irrational number so what is a rational number non terminating and non recurring non terminating and non terminating non recurring non terminating and non recurring this is called rational numbers we can from real numbers we can describe two things one is rational numbers q and another is irrational numbers q dash so many we can say as rational numbers i terminating terminating numbers or correction numbers the another one non terminating and recurring here non terminating and non recurring will not recur so these are q is called rational numbers q dash is called irrational numbers q union q dash is called real numbers q union q dash is called real numbers q intersection q dash is nothing but empty so there is no same q and q dash are different different elements there is no common element between q and q dash q intersection q dash is nothing but empty there is no common between q and q q is different form and q dash is different form so real numbers q and q dash next next they are telling to prove most of the irrational numbers will be on square root square root of 2 square root of 3 square root of 5 square root of 7 square root of 6 these are irrational irrational numbers most of the irrational numbers are in mostly in square root most irrational numbers will be in square root so these numbers are irrational numbers these numbers are irrational numbers you don't need to think for that these numbers are irrational numbers so next if i going to see one other theorem 2.1 theorem 2.1 in theorem 2.1 what i asking square root of 2 is not a irrational number square root of 2 is not a irrational number we need to prove square root of 2 is not a irrational number yes square root of 2 is not a irrational number yes it's not a irrational number square root of 2 is an irrational number only square root of 2 is an irrational number we know square root of 2 is an irrational number so we need to prove solution we need to prove solution we going to consider let us consider let us consider what in consider square root of 2 is a rational number let us consider square root of 2 is an irrational number i am going to consider let us square root of 2 is a rational number but what they asking square root of 2 is a not a not a rational number square root of 2 is an irrational number yes square root of 2 is a not a rational number is irrational number only but we going to consider square root of 2 is irrational number for our assumption only square root of 2 is an rational number i am assumed so any rational number is of the form of p by q any rational number is in the form of p by q only any rational number is a form of p by q so square root of 2 is equal to p by q any rational number any since i have considered square root of 2 is a rational number any any rational number is in the form of p by q square root of 2 is equal to p by 2 now squaring on both sides so square root of 2 the whole square is equal to 
p square into q square so square and square gets cancelled 2 is equal to p square divided by q square so this q square mo moves this side therefore p square is equal to 2 into q square p square is equal to 2 into uh, p square is equal to 2 into q square so so p square is equal to 2 into q square this presence of q in 2 indicates p square is an even number listen carefully if i going to take any number if i going to take any number see for example 4 for example 4 2 into 2 we are going to 8 2 into 4 we are going to take 16 2 into 8 like this this is multiples of 2 4 8 16 are multiples of 2 since p square is equal to 2 into q square p square is an even number because multiples of 2 no p square if, I, if you want you can write bracket p square is equal to 2 square is multiple of 2 multiples of 2 therefore p square is even you need to write p square is even if p square is equal even which implies p is also even if p square is even then p square if p is square is even which implies p is also even number p is also even number so now only i have told p is an even number so since p is even since p is even i can write p is equal to 2k this is a multiple of k no 2 into 2 into 1 2 2 2 2 are 4 2 3 are, i can put any values for k any values k so this is this one i am going to keep it as equation 1 so p is equal to k why p is equal to k since p is multiples of 2 p square is even as p square is even p is also even so i am going to consider p is equal to 2k p is equal to k keep it as equation 2 apply 2 in 1 apply apply 2 in 1 apply 2 in 1 what is p p is nothing but 2k 2k the whole square is equal to 2q square what is absent here 4k square is equal to 2q square this both will be cancelled 2 is present 2k square is equal to q square now see what has happened this is multiples of 2 q square is multiples of 2 therefore q square is all q square is even since q is square is even which implies q is even which implies q is q is even so since very very important one p is also even q is also even so both are even number if both are even number even number both have the same common factor called 2 since both are even number since since p and q are even numbers having having common factor 2 since p and q both are even numbers having common factor 2 it is we have arrived contradiction we have arrived contradiction what contradiction we have arrived since the any rational number should have a common factor what is the common factor is nothing but one any rational number should have common factor only one one is the common factor but here the rational number rational number root 2 rational number root 2 which i written p by q this p by q have an even number which have common factor 2 therefore we have arrived a contradiction we have arrived a contradiction this is a p and the 4 root 2 is not a rational number therefore root 2 is irrational number this is the concept this is like we need to prove what is my con con we have we need to say it is con contradiction means it is wrong what we assumed or what we need to tell is a wrong contradiction since p and q are even numbers i mean common factor 2 we have arrived contradiction they say in, in tamil means muran paadu contradiction muran paadu okay so this is the sum that's all